Oh, what? What? Okay. We take those. Okay. Last week, we finally closed the mystery of the final member of the Women Fighters team in KOF 15. Going into the next week, another mystery has come to a close. The final member of this current season of Street Fighter V, Luke. Just Luke. From what I understand, this guy is fresh new. <laughs> Seeing that we don't have that much to go off of, nothing more for me to say except, let's go. Become a man like who? Maybe we'll find out. What the world? I don't know what to do with this design. I really don't. And that's not a negative or positive. I am legitimately neutral about this design. He has a thing for stars, doesn't he? He has some on his forearm, there's one on his shoulder, there's one buzz cut into his freaking scalp. Bruh. And I'm guessing looking at the trunks, he's from America, so there's that. I don't know what's yeah. up with that hair though, like kind of stringy, but you know, I don't know. Like I said, I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's great either. That's the best way I could put it. Let's see how he plays though. Oh, what? Okay. We take those. Okay. Ash and punch. Got a ragtag shore you can. Overhead kick. One, two into a shoulder charge. Okay. I think a brawler. Is he MMA? I'm gonna go on a limb and say that is a V-Skill. Probably buffing his punches. V-Trigger. Ooh, machine gun. Machine gun seismo punches. Okay. Ooh, and it's anti-fireball too? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so <laughs> I feel very differently about his playstyle compared to like what I said about his design. His playstyle actually doesn't seem that bad. It's not like something groundbreaking, I would say. He does remind me a little bit of Ed, except a lot of his stuff is a lot more rougher. Like he's a brawler. It's not as, it doesn't have that boxer finesse. This guy is like just one to get in your face and hit you. I think he's MMA. Which is cool. That's cool. The punches really kind of shocked me there. <laughs> the punches are actually kind of good. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Hit in Dragon Ball Fighters, somewhat. Kind of like the little one move where he would like do punches from a, like a mile away, but like they're still catching you. That's what that reminded me of. I mentioned earlier like he has a sure you can, but it's very ragtagish. I guess I don't know if that's invincible on Wake Up because we just mostly saw him like use it as a combo ender. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, we will see. He's a character that I would say, hey, I got leftover fight money, I'll try him out. Maybe I'll like him, maybe I won't. From what I saw here, they didn't really show off any alternate costumes of him, so maybe his alternates might be a lot more palatable than his default. I'm a little surprised because the only thing I saw going into this were comments. I didn't want to look at any footage. I wanted to get a genuine first impression, and I was a little bit freaked out because most of what I saw was generally negative, but that wasn't that bad. For waiting as long as we did because people were expecting a surprise, a guest character like somebody not from Capcom or something like that. I heard people talking about Kyo Kusanagi and a bunch of other characters and everything. That might be the only big downfall when it comes to Luke in this case, because I think people were expecting a little something 
more surprising, but instead we got a guy who, at least for me, has a decent play style. But I'm not gonna really bash it that much. It's just the design that kind of makes my head hurt a bit. <laughs> but I'm willing to check him out, even though my fight money will be going towards Akira Kazama when she comes out. So I heard that she and Oro both come out this month. Good looking if that's true. But uh, yeah, what do y'all think of old Luke? Did you like him? Did you dislike him? Are you disappointed that it wasn't anybody more surprising? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, this is Chris Alid, and I will catch y'all when I catch y'all. As always, take care, be safe out there wherever you go. See ya.